All right, another straight to the point video. This is about Sindin light guns. That's what you've all been waiting for. All right, so the Sindin light gun. This has recoil. It has a D-pad, two buttons on this side, two buttons on this side, and that's also a button when you pump, pump the trigger back or pump that back. And then, then you have the trigger, which is also a button. So right now you see uh, it's going a little haywire right here because that's because it's sensing light and it shouldn't be. This should be tucked away in the back or laid down where it doesn't have any light. Okay, so let me get straight to the settings. You push start, you go to controller and Bluetooth settings. If you have a Sindon light gun plugged in, now it plugs in via uh, a USB and it's plugged into a mini PC. This right here populates, it's called Sindon gun settings. Obviously you go down, you select that, you push enter, and then you have some options. So you could set your border size, I like it thin. Your border mode, this is important. Now I set mine to in-game only because I have games that are not shooter games, and then I have shooter games as well. So I don't want I don't want that border to always be there for, for, for the regular games that aren't shooter games. Okay, so I select that. And then you could change some of the settings like the color, the contrast, brightness, exposure, and then at the bottom you have recoil. Now if you select recoil, you have auto. Disabled meaning there's no recoil. Gun, which means that every time you shoot, you hear that recoil. Enter it back into it. You have machine gun. When you hold the trigger down, it continues to recoil. And then quiet gun is pretty much gun that isn't as loud. Quiet machine gun is machine gun, which isn't as loud. So I, I set my border size to thin. Border mode, in-game only. I think that's important. Recoil, I just set mine to gun. I mean, if it's uh, like a T2 where you just hold it down, you could set it to machine gun or disable it. That's preference. Now let's go back. I have a folder of light guns only. So depending on what system it's running on, um, you might have to do some certain settings or change some certain settings. So let's say for example, I don't know, duck hunt. I mean, it's somewhere here. All right, let's say duck hunt. You gotta change the settings, right? So every, every shooter game is running on different consoles or different emulators. So what you want to do is you want to press and hold this down till that screen comes up, go to advanced game options, then look at your options and make your decision. So more importantly, you want to find anything related to the Sindon light gun. Use light guns, set it to on, show crosshair. That's, you know, your option, but this will not always be there. Border mode, I set it to auto. Uh, controller to light gun, I set it to on because I know this game, Duck Hunt, is just a light gun game. And then I could hit back and then I could launch the game. And as long as you don't have too much lighting, you should be fine. I'll turn some of the lights off, grab my Sindon light gun. Now you notice that I have a crosshair because I left it on. I could select that. And every time I shoot, it kicks back with uh, the loud recoil. So one other thing to note, some games might be a little more difficult. Uh, if I'm running a game like, let's just say Time Crisis. Let me just search for Time Crisis in this folder. Okay, so let's go Time Crisis 3. Time Crisis 3 is playing off uh, PlayStation 2. So I press and hold the enter button, go to advanced game options, and the emulator you wanna use is not not the Libertro. You want the, the regular PCS X2 launch that game. Oh, we're gonna launch that game. We're gonna select that and then launch launch that game. Now it's gonna ask for you to calibrate the gun. Try to forward this. Notice how the, the white border pops up because we're in a shooter game. It does recognize that. So I'm just gonna see if I can fast forward through this. 
All right, so it's asking me to the, the gun guncon 2 calibration. Nothing works. So what you want to do is you want to press and hold this button up here. There you go. You press it a couple times, and then you get the crosshair. When you get the crosshair, you now want to you, you now want to press this button right here, but you want it. There you go. So so you want to line up the crosshair and then press that button. Now when you play, everything works as should. So if I pump this back, let me put this down because I'm recording. If I pump this back, he stands up, so I'll be able to pump back and shoot. I'll show you I'll show you an example of gameplay and we'll go from there but every every light gun games you might want to enter the settings and just look through it and see, see the options that you want because every system will be different now I'm gonna pump back and he stands up and I get to shoot 